but there is this obsession with with keeping the races arbitrarily separate and then and then the and then these white liberal elites want to keep they want to keep black people in the black community they want to keep them away they want to stay separate from them you know the uh, these white elites are, are not are, are not trying to move into black communities at all mm-hmm. um but they want to keep them as this as this pitiful victim that that they're crusaders for and yes. somehow it and, and then and then that help and be, because they have these feelings of pity and sympathy for black people um, it makes them justify li- living their their very privileged lives, right. where, where 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 they live in a big house, and they probably own multiple homes. Um, mm-hmm. They 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 have a great a very nice living. They they may or may not work. They may have inherited the money that they live off of, which, which hey, to each his own. But 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 they're they're trying to make themselves look like they are the vicars of justice in society, which which they're not. And, 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 you know, I just can't help but think that, that, that they're, they're secretly or even unconsciously fighting to maintain the status quo, because if they can't justify, or if if they can't make, if they can't, if they can't argue to themselves and to other people that they're crusaders for black people, who are they going to be crusading for? Right. Right. You know, what would their identity be at that point? Well, a lot of people... Oh, oh, here, 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 David, one more thing. And and I think that that what these people need to do is bow down before Jesus Christ as king, because yeah. because it because if they yeah. bow down before Jesus Christ as king, that's where they that's where they're going to find their identity. It's not yeah. in being being a crusader for for for, for these distant for 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 the distant black people that they never encounter in, in their day to day life and that they never intend to encounter either. Right. Right. But they go to those, they like to go to those uh, uh, African uh, countries and do those photos where they do the photo with the kids. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 they take selfies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They they treat people like they are like pets of theirs. Have you noticed that? that yes. Yeah. They're, they're tokens. Like they're slow, like they're slow pets. Like, you know. They're, to- this- they're tokens. <laughs> And that's probably, well, that's it, probably why they that's probably why those hipsters like to adopt those dogs with three legs too because they like the dog that can't quite <laughs> move on its own without some support right, they like right. to control people right you know you ever go to the farmers market you see all the liberals with three-legged dogs you say, i never know they had that many three-legged dogs that sounds like y'all got that from a factory y'all taking and, the dog and, to the factory chopping it off all right it's liberal friendly go ahead take care of it it, it yeah, can't get food on its own the, the, Put some seed oil the, biscuits in its, in its little plate, and it's just sickly and dying, and it's always needing the vet. And it said, "Oh, you can't survive without me." Right. That's how they treat humans, too. Dear God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 